In this episode, I'm gonna share with you why nobody cares that you've got an adjuster's license. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPath. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. All right, now I know that teaser was harsh, but listen, just because you got an adjuster's license doesn't mean people are gonna be coming and stuffing hundreds of dollar bills in your pockets. Despite what you might've read online, most adjusters do not have that type of instantaneous success. This is a career that you must build. This is a business and you are a business owner. If you think about having an adjuster's license is similar to just having a business license. It doesn't mean you're gonna get customers. It doesn't mean you're good at your job. And it doesn't mean that people are going to buy anything from you. But let's look at some other reasons why nobody cares that you might have an adjuster's license. In 2017, 17,743 adjusters were licensed in the state of Texas alone. Say that one more time. In 2017, 17,743 adjusters were licensed in the state of Texas alone. So most years it is for sure over 10,000 people getting licensed in the state of Texas. This was a very high year because of Hurricane Harvey, but if you think you're one in 10,000 people to get licensed this year in a state, that's not very good odds. You're lumped into this huge category of 10,000 plus people, so nobody cares, right? It's not that unique at this point. Your adjuster license alone does not make you stand out. You're in a crowded spot, especially if you're in Texas, Florida, or Indiana. Those are very common licenses to get, and those alone will not give you the breakout opportunities that you're looking for. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Another reason why nobody cares that you have an adjuster's license is just because you got an adjuster's license doesn't mean you're committed. It takes anywhere from a week to a month to get an insurance adjuster's license. Now it's painful, I've done it, it hurts, it's no fun, it's like pulling teeth, but for most people, they don't view it as commitment. This isn't something that proves you're committed to the insurance industry. It helps a little bit, but it's not enough usually to knock the door in. So we've got to look at some things that, how do we prove we're committed? How do we stand out from the crowd? Because right now we're in a crowded marketplace and nobody cares. Another reason why nobody cares that you have an adjuster's license is because it doesn't mean you know how to do the job, right? We talked about how having a business license doesn't really mean a whole lot. It doesn't mean you're gonna get paid any money. Well, let's think about it like this. Just because a coffee shop has a business license and they can legally sell coffee, 
doesn't mean their coffee's any good. I don't know about you, but you might be going to Starbucks and the new place next door, you're not even checking it out. Why? Because you know Starbucks has good coffee. People are sticking with the veteran adjusters that they know have a good product. Just because you have an insurance adjuster's license doesn't mean you know how to do the job and it doesn't mean you're committed and it doesn't mean you have good work ethic and it doesn't mean you have good customer service. It doesn't even mean you know how to write an estimate. It just means you met some requirements by a state to legally settle a claim. So what are some things that we can do to try to stand out? So one more way to look at this whole adjuster license thing. Getting an insurance adjuster's license is like getting a ticket to the ball. You still got to convince someone that they want to dance with you. And that's the hardest part of this career is convincing an IA firm or an insurance company to hire you to handle claims for them. Their clients and their customer base is worth millions, if not billions of dollars. And every time they trust you with the claim, they're trusting you with their product. If you think about an insurance company, what are they selling? Nothing but a promise that if something goes wrong, the insurance claims adjuster, that's you, is going to show up. So everything Progressive, Geico, State Farm, USAA, and every other insurance company is selling is you. And why should they trust you with their millions of dollars in policy premiums and customers? If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. Why should they trust their product to you? This is a serious responsibility that you need to prove you're committed, right? You gotta prove you're worthy to dance with. You gotta prove you know how to do the job and you got to stand out. So if you just take these lists of reasons why nobody cares and flip it on its head, you now know exactly what you need to do. So getting training is so important. Getting hard to get licenses that other people don't have like New York is super valuable or Pennsylvania's auto damage appraiser's license. Get that one, you'll be more likely to get a call. Start showing your commitment by showing up to conferences. You might even see Matt Allen there. You won't see me there, but you might see Matt Allen. And while you're there, tell him I said hello. Other things you can do are to network. Networking is so important. In business, it's all about who knows you, who likes you, and who trusts you. And if nobody knows you and nobody likes you, then nobody's gonna trust you. So building up trust with people that are already inside the industry and being friends with them or at least associates with them and associated with them in some way can help you find out about new opportunities and get you your big break. My name is Chris Stanley and we at IAPATH are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.